All right, five, four, three, two, one. Just like every other plane they design, it's amazing. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Today we have an incredibly busy week, and if you guys ever wondered if 3D printing and model aviation can get along, the answer is a big yes. Now David's working really hard because we're gonna be flying the new Eclipse and Model S today. And along with that, we have a lot of stuff to print with our new 20-foot B-17. David has worked really hard with designing some turrets. We're gonna be playing with tough PLA, lightweight PLA, and a whole bunch of other filaments as he prints those. And also in this episode, we have a really good quick tip to show you how to make sure that your print continues, even if you lose power. We have a busy week ahead. Let's get started. Um, okay, so the wing is the first thing that they say you should start on. I watched the uh, build video for this actually. Basically, you get the center spar in, you just feed the pieces on and see them as you go. After I get done assembling the wing, you install all the control surfaces in the wing, move on to the servos and then the fuselage. Nice. This is very satisfying to put together because it, it happens fast. Yeah. You know, like normally if you're doing balsa wood and stuff, you're waiting for, you know, like uh, glue to dry and everything. This, the glue adheres to it and dries really quick. We were talking earlier, the shapes you get from it, you just can't easily recreate those shapes either. Right. So you got speed of build. The, the hardest thing is, is just the time printing. So really what Dave does a lot of times is he'll set up his print and let it print through the night and that way it wakes up in the morning and then checks it. Yeah, which is kind of ris risky too because yeah. I've, I've come into quite a few failed prints and just uh, played a spaghetti sitting yeah. on in front of me. Yeah. I noticed everything is getting better. Every single one of them they do fits a little bit nicer, lines up better. What was it, the Model A I think it was? Where you tape, yeah, tape. tape the hinges <laughs> and now everything is just so refined. That's comparable to a uh, PMP, just maybe a touch heavier than just like a standard foam wing. Yeah. I mean, it has flaps and everything too, yeah. which is a huge difference. Holy. It's kind of nuts because by any time, uh, like with our foam board, you know, nothing against it, but you can't get a refined, predictable airfoil. Like yeah. you fold it, it flies great, it's going to work. This has like a defined airfoil that's meant for a purpose. You know? right. and Especially that's... something that long too. Foam board starts to sag and warp if it's too long. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty awesome stuff. Can't wait to see it fly. I like the single wheel on the bottom. Yeah, oh, totally. <laughs> All right, so part of the designing process is messing up, I guess. So um, in this case, I'm trying to put the camera in the turret for the B-17. I made a rail system for this to ride in, so it has like full range of motion and everything. I made it so it's removable. I glued the rail system in, and I didn't take into account the camera kind of sticks out through the track, and there's no way to get it in <laughs> once you uh, glue it in place. So I'm gonna have to make some changes and figure it out I guess <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is the first test of our turret <laughs> like for the top of the B-17 <laughs> wonder what it looks like oh it's perfect you can see the guns and everything <laughs> <laughs> oh that is awesome <laughs> that is from our perspective seeing it working oh that's incredible oh we're gonna have a lot of fun all right I'm a, I'm a plane flying by ready you gotta shoot me uh oh, friendly fire. <laughs> you gotta try this, Josh. That's too cool. That position's good. You put so much heart into that track, and now I see why. Alright, where is my target? There you are. Oh, friendly I fire again. <laughs> You're done. Yip, yip, yip. <laughs> That is awesome. It's, it's, it's intuitive, David. Oh my golly. Looking up and down is kind of creeping me up. But, um, I gotta change the setting though. I made that too slow. Too slow? Yeah, that is, that's incredible. I love it. And this is the first one. I think the next one's gonna be even better. No, oh, no doubt. No doubt. What are you working on now? You're working on the ball, right? Um, the ball turret. This just ability to go completely 360 is really, really trippy. <laughs> I love it. Great work, man. Thank you. All right, so I hear the printer's going like mad. Let's go ahead and check on Dave. What you up to, bud? Oh, hey, Josh. I'm just working on getting this printer set up. Um, I hooked the EcoFlows up earlier. We're getting ready to have that brainstorm and 
yeah. price and all that stuff. So yeah, this is a really good quick tip for you guys here. You know, we have pretty much a whole printer bank, and with the new release of our tenant and also all the amazing designs that John's doing currently, uh, we're using our 3D printers more than ever. Now we have a huge winter storm, like you said, coming tomorrow. Freezing rain, snow. This is an old barn. We're always losing power, and this is something you guys can do to kind of overcome that odds of having a print like almost done and then have it fail. Yeah, yeah, and it, unfortunately, it's very disheartening, and it does happen. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing worse than getting three quarters of the way through a print and yeah. the printer just shutting off and you having to start over again. Absolutely. So let's show you what we got here. Uh, we're running all these printers here. We're going to be running these through the nights. We have our B17 pieces here. We have our tenant pieces here on down the line. All these have about a whole day's worth of processes. We took the EcoFlow Pro down here and I can actually monitor that through an app. So if I do lose power, I can know exactly how much I have, whether I need to come up here or do anything. I can even run an extra battery through this. This is a perfect solution for you and you don't need the Pro unless you're running a huge bank farm. Although the Pro is out of its, uh, what's it called, the crowdfund phase, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually available to the public now. Yeah, which is really, really cool. But if you're running a small printer and you want a small size, EcoFlow has a size for every single printer or every single application. These things are not just useful out in the field charging your batteries. These things are incredibly useful even for everyday use like this. I've even used the small EcoFlows to take with me when I'm working up on the hot wire foam cutting machine and I can just put the laptop right there, I can work on it because there's no outlets available. It's a fantastic take with you power solution. Now if you guys like what you see here, you don't want your prints failing or you love camping or you just want power on the go, check out our links below. Also, there's some special deals on the EcoFlow Pro, check those out as well too. Back to work, right? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so I just brought this out to show Josh. Um, I got the, uh, what would you call it, the tilt mechanism done for the bottom belly turret, and it is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is... I saw you, I saw you drawing this up, and I was like, maybe he's not working on a V-17, maybe he's working on like a TIE fighter, because that's what it looks <laughs> like to me. And he had all these gears. Holy cow, man, that is incredible. It works really good. Everybody's going to be fighting for that spot. Yeah, and it's also going to rotate too. I'm working on that section right now. It's printing. So how did you do that? Like, um, it basically has two servos and a whole bunch of gears that run all the way down through the center that attach to a main gear that attaches to a ball. And yeah, it looks um, effortless. That is going to be nuts. <laughs> it's going to be crazy because it's not going to be about seeing the plane fly. It's going to be about flying in the plane right. and, and getting one of those those cockpit positions. Yeah, I think people are gonna love it. Um, we ended up using Color Fab PLA. Um, they hooked us up with some samples and everything, yeah. and the stuff was phenomenal. Um, it's not lightweight, but it's still really good. Well, nice thing is, is where you need lightweight, you can use the lightweight PLA. Where you need, you know, tough PLA, you can use the tough. You can use just normal when you have a normal application, and it all works out really right. well. So. Right. I love it, bro. It's great work. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> So we're experimenting with the next generation of FPV chair. What do you think of this stuff? <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a manual lift, but someone will need to watch it. And as it goes, oh, yes. you can shift. And and, and, and uh, you can also get your hair cut and watch at this. the same the time. Part right here. You got landing. <laughs> <laughs> you can even do turbulence. See Whoa. this turbulence? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're actually there. You don't, you don't, you don't even need. <laughs> You don't even need a giant like so, simulator. This is perfect. So about, we're gonna get ready. We are all set. I need you to do us a big favor. You're gonna be spotting a lot of us. We're gonna be flying yeah. the plane. He's gonna be flying the quad. If anyone needs help, you just I will. Just be there. I'll just be there. Are we ready to fly? We're good. Let's do this. This is gonna be the best cold winter weather flying ever. This is gonna be awesome. So I'm I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get my cold weather gear on. Do you have I, a different pair of kicks? No, I don't. But I, they'll be fine. In I my, have them in too. my truck. I got full blown. Oh, uh, don't you worry about a thing. Boots. I just. I'm used to this now. I've lived here for a long time. I'm sorry, <laughs> Seth. No, you're good. I got this. You drew the sword in the straw. But look at it, dude. It looks great. <laughs> so it's crazy because you have so many hours in printing, but you built this in one day. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the printing on this one. I've been working on the B17 and yeah. tenant parts and things of that nature, so we had our good buddy Graham do it for us. Yeah, big shout out to Graham. Thank you so much. You made this episode possible. And I love it. What were some of the highlights of the build? Um, actually, it was it was a very smooth build. Everything went together really nice. Um, no complaints at all. And 
it looks phenomenal. Every single time I bopped in, I noticed that the evolution from one design to the next. One of the first ones we ever did was a Model A, and I remember putting tape down on the hinge lines, not really thinking a whole lot of it. But now to see how everything is like just nested together, it's complete, it's, it's gorgeous, it's refined. Uh, every time it steps up a little better. And uh, power-wise? Um, we're using the budget B motor. Um, it, it seemed to be a good fit. Um, our regular B motor will also fit. I checked to make sure that the spacing and everything was good. And you can run both of those off of a four cell. So we, uh, we are blessed with some balmy, like 20 degree weather. We have a foot of snow. We are gonna take this out to EcoFlow Runway, um, but we, we can't even get out there with our cars. So we have a better plan. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be maxing and relaxing, sitting in HQ. We have a nice comfy couch set up. We've got the EcoFlow set up, popping some popcorn. Yep. Yes. So we hooked up some FPV gear on the top here. Wes is going to do the same. We are going to pop some popcorn, get some coffee ready. We are going to have the most relaxing winter flying ever. All right, this is pretty gutsy because we're going to do the maiden flight yeah. indoors through an FPV signal. Yeah. Don't do this at home. Bad. Bad. <laughs> but fun. <laughs> Stefan, what's your predictions? Well, uh, if it's anything like any of the other Eclipse in model airplanes, uh, it's going to fly fantastic. Um, but we've thrown a couple variables in, meaning I'm outside, they're inside, they're flying strictly through an FPV feed, uh, they're not outside. <laughs> so we're kind of got a little uh, more variables to mess around with this time. So, but this thing looks like it's gonna just like, no pun intended, soar through the air uh, like an unbelievable bird. So, yes, he's testing controls right oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry, I just interrupted oh. you. Yeah. All right, we're good. All right, well, I can't go down that side uh, rail here, okay? So I gotta go out this way. So, uh, we all good for me to walk out? Yeah, you're yep. good. All you're right, guys. Be careful, hey. Stephen. Don't get lost in the snow. Yeah. yeah, don't scratch the lane. I'll do my very best, friends. Good luck, Stephen. Thank you, sir. How are you gonna do this, Josh? Huh? <laughs> How are you gonna do this? Uh, once I get it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in, and I'm just gonna walk like this, and then I'm gonna sit down and give it to you. Okay. You so I'll be ready. Yeah. Walking down very carefully, making sure we don't fall, trip, or break things. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nerve wracked about uh, this airplane right now. All right, Jay Biggs. Are you ready, bud? Where do you want me, which way you want me to launch you? Go ahead and launch me towards the creek. That's terrifying. <laughs> okay. We, okay, I'm gonna go out here so I'm not on a ledge. Whoa. Careful, buddy. So, it's a little thicker than, than normal. Give me a countdown. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that part's too loud. Just like every other plane they designed, it's amazing. Yep. It's, it's flying at like third throttle. Yep. I've got, I've got good video on these You got these good goggles. video? All right, I'm gonna creep back in, okay? <laughs> this is a lot more challenging than I thought. <laughs> All right, hold on. We might be better off. Okay, I got it. Awesome! Oh, wow, it is smooth. It is butter smooth. All right, so. <laughs> We kind of thought how great it'd be to relax on the couch, eat and pop some popcorn, <laughs> but little did we think about like, what does it take to safely launch it, come back here, transfer the thing? That was a challenge. But now we get to fly it. And <gasps> with, with this thing flying like a third throttle, we're gonna fly forever. Wow, the snow looks awesome. That's does it? <laughs> take it up nice and high. Wow, this thing does float. It looks fantastic. It looks sweet from here. Yeah, I have no throttles on. It's just windmilling. Now normally you can set the brake and even put a foldable prop, which I think would be a must for this. And we didn't put an aura on this one too. <laughs> Although now I think we should upgrade. Uh, ooh, upgrade. That way it yeah. just doesn't need it for stability just to take out the effects of the wind. Um, possibly even do a night version? Yeah, yeah, matter of fact, uh, Dave, you and I were talking about that and uh, we think what would be awesome is they don't think they make the FT night rating anymore. Maybe we can work with Eclipse and we do it ourselves. Let us know in the comments if you guys would like to see an LED night version for this because we also have this awesome guy to my right named Wes and uh, he knows how to program Arduinos and all that good stuff too so we can <laughs> we can make him do the work we can get a night version of this and then next year's flight fest or I should say this year's flight yeah, fest that'd be sweet. we can have a whole bunch of these flying you want me to try to get up high and hand it over Josh I mean we can give that a shot yeah I'm all for that 
I am up high now. Yeah, you are. It's beautiful. Head towards EcoFlow Runway. There you go. Keep heading that way. Yep. And I'll... You ready? Yep. You got it? Yep. That is beautiful. It is gorgeous. You're just sitting there. I mean, I'm dead stick right now. You want to fly line of sight and swap? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Right, you got it? Yep, we're good. All right. I'll, I'll drop once we get it in okay. my grubby hands. You ready? Yep. Thanks. Yep. Oh, that was effortless. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you didn't see what Dave was doing the entire time. <laughs> He's like tiptoeing, backpedaling. Are you serious? In the air, just like, oh. yeah, so if you actually look straight ahead from where we are right now, that is the approach from Minerva Airport. That's the airport I fly the uh, Airlight 103 oh, really? and my little Ronca from, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You, you know what, I, I, I gotta do it, guys. Yeah. We haven't done any aerobatics yet. Ready? Oh, wow. Oh, jeez, I love it. <laughs> Upside down? There's a, there's a unique perspective for you. Yeah, if you ever wanted to know what it felt like. <laughs> I, I, Upside down. I didn't see much of as far as uh, wing flex went either. Oh, are you watching line yeah, of sight? I'm, I'm yeah, looking out the window. Was All there, right. Was it, you said there was one, one not, two, not much. Nice. Nothing three, concerning. four. Ooh, nice. Four. That was good. For a Thanks. driver, I feel like that's fantastic. I feel it then still a wing over. Ooh. Oh, dang. The, the straight down view was crazy. I love this. Is it pretty fast? Oh, yeah. So all that was done with about half throttle, by the way, <laughs> and that's off of a budget B. That's the same motor our Flurkin flies with. So where you gonna, so question, where are you going to land this? I thing? haven't, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say I try to put it as close to the balcony as possible? Oh, wow, I see a, I see I a wing getting cut like in half by a flagpole. <laughs> oh. Do you want me to just bring it in? Bring do you have enough in. battery? Where are I hope these flaps oh, wow. do their job because I am cooking. It is cruising. We're good. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Yay! Oh, <laughs> great job, Josh. Yay! Sorry, I buried it, guys. <laughs> By far the best winter flying experience I have ever had in my entire life of 42 years. Yeah, hats off to Eclipsen. They do a great job making the models. Um, all the STLs are available for this. Yes. And also, if you want to start printing with lightweight PLA, uh, tough PLA, various shirt, we're going to be carrying all those in our store very soon. That shipment's going to be coming in. Now, this plane flies incredible. If you guys want to build your own Eclipse and Model S or any other model in their lines, check out the coupon code alone. We love working at Eclipse and they want to give you a savings of 5% off any of the designs. And we had an amazing eventful week, a lot of 3D printing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, got a lot done for the B-17, the turrets and everything. Um, next week, we're getting ready to start the wings, right? Absolutely. We're going to be cutting out the wings. We're going to be putting the cells on. We have a lot of work ahead, so make sure you hit that subscribe bell, and we'll see you next time.